What's going on guys? I am Matt Lee, a Black Ovis gear guide, and today I'm going to be going over my Cryptek altitude lineup and why I have handpicked this layering system, where and when I would use it. I've been in the mountains for a little over four months this year as I'm a full-time hunting guide as well. And good gear is very important to me and I'm going to share this Cryptek lineup and what I like about it and when I would use it. This is the Tora Pant. Okay, this pant is an awesome pant for basically all season. It has a shoulder technology, which makes it water repellent, but breathable at the same time. A couple things I really love about this pant, it's got hip vents. You can stay cooled down while you're hiking in some heat. It has smaller knee pads, which is nice. I love a knee pad in my pant, but hate when it's a big bulky knee pad. Uh, knee pads are awesome when you're stalking in mule deer and uh, have to be super sneaky. I wore this pant from August until probably the middle to end of October this year. Um, basically from the temperatures of 85 to 90 degrees down to about 30, 35 degrees um, is where I would recommend this pant. Couple things that I, that I would change about this pant um, is they're a little long. They're a little long for me. Uh, I, I am a short guy. So if you're short on the shorter end, I'm about 5'8". Um, I wish they would have a short option but they don't so the way i cured this is i would just always wear a leg gaiter with this pant uh, that way it would keep my pants from basically falling under my boot so that's the torah pant it is a bomb proof basically everyday wear pant the next piece we're going to talk about is the arma half zip this shirt is super lightweight and super moisture wicking it's a phenomenal base layer when you're out glassing mule deer or hunting elk in early august to late August, I was wearing this shirt basically daily. Couple things I like about this shirt. It's got an arm pocket with a zipper, so I'd always stash like a diaphragm collar or my wind checker in that pocket. I wore this shirt a lot, basically year round. I used it as a base layer uh, when I'd kill an elk even last two weeks ago in uh, the beginning of November. There was about two feet of snow. I had this shirt on, killed an elk, and I was able just to roll the sleeves up and get it taken care of, and I was happy that I had that piece on. Next piece is the Arma hoodie. This is probably one of my favorite and most worn pieces in this whole lineup. I just love the fit of this hoodie. It is super athletic fitting, so it doesn't feel like super bulky or um, much excess material. And it's got a grid fleece inner, uh, which makes this jacket super comfortable. Uh, I wore this thing almost daily. Every day, it, it was part of my layering pe uh, system. A couple key features I really like about this jacket. It's got YKK zippers, which are bomb proof. And I love the camo pattern that Cryptek uses, especially their altitude system um, and their camo and the altitude lineup. It works really well for the terrain I hunt in and those high country basins and those Aspen uh, quakey basins as well. Next piece we're gonna touch on is my most used piece. It's a puffy jacket. I don't care what time of year it is, where you're hunting, I feel like every hunter should always have a puffy jacket. Whether you're using it as a pillow or you're using it to sit on while you're glassing, puffy jackets are worth their weight in gold. What makes this one unique is all these chambers, all these baffles in this puffy jacket. It allows the insulation to stay lofted without clumping up and sinking down. What's cool about this jacket is it has synthetic insulation and compression areas like your lower back or your armpits. And then it has uh, 700 fill goose down in areas like your chest or your arms where they're not as compressed. This jacket is ultra lightweight for a puffy and it will roll up and stuff into its own pocket. So there's no reason you shouldn't have it in your pack at all times. Next piece and what I think is possibly the most unique piece to Cryptek that most other camel companies just don't have right now. It's a lightweight, stretchy outer shell. This outer shell is awesome at repelling moisture. It is really lightweight and it's comfortable. You don't feel like you're restricted or hiking around in a garbage bag. This thing is pretty bomb proof. I love it's got like a wire up here in the hood so you can conform the hood if it's blowing wind or you're trying to shield one side of your face while you're glassing in the sun. I wore this jacket a lot. It was really windy this year. If you're ever in windy conditions and you're just getting hammered by the wind, it's cutting through all your layers, you need a bomb proof outer layer like this jacket right here. 
Last but not least is the Takar Gator. You will rarely see me on the mountain without a gator. And that's for two purposes. Purpose number one is I like to keep stuff, debris and other, other things out of the top of my boots. And I like to keep the bottom of my pants clean and damage free. So that's, that's what I use a gator for. You'll see me wearing a three quarter gator more than a short gator just because I like having extra protection on the bottom of my pants because I hunt in a lot of thick, rugged terrain. What's unique about this gator is it does not use any zippers or any buttons. It is strictly Velcro. And then it has an oversized lace loop hook, which is awesome. When it's dark and you're in your tent or it's really cold and you can't really feel your fingers too well, trust me, you want an oversized lace hook that's super easy to hook onto your laces and you're not spending 10 minutes in the morning trying to hook it onto your laces when you're freezing or in a rush. I love this gator and I would recommend this over all gators on the market right now. The Cryptek Altitude Dakar Gator is the best one I have worn and I'm kind of a gator connoisseur. I, I'm a huge fan of them. But this is my lineup guys. This will cover you from July until November, December. I promise you, I wore these pieces. First hand experience, you can hunt many terrains. I was in Wyoming hunting whitetail, Colorado hunting mule deer, Utah hunting elk and mule deer, and now I'm even going to hunt bears and mountain lions here in the last couple of weeks of November and into December here in Utah. And I will be wearing the same gear lineup. The only thing I will change that I don't have here is some black Ovis Moreno long underwear under my pants. And that's basically it. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and get out there and tear it up guys. Good luck.